Well, as we've been telling you all morning, a shocker as Patrick Brown abruptly quitting as PC party leader as allegations of sexual misconduct surfacing. This coming five months ahead of the provincial election. That was just last night, the 39-year-old holding this press conference here, very emotional. Uh, he made no mention of the sexual misconduct aspect of the allegations, but that he would defend himself vigorously. So a lot of questions now, big day in Ontario politics, uh, the what is next. So joining me now, Jim Warren, political strategist. Uh, is, is this number one? Uh, was it a shock last night when all of this came out? Uh, it was a political bombshell. I mean, do you hear rumors in innuendo about politicians or things could go bad for them, but you never expect it to actually happen the way it did last night. And so clearly, you know, I think Patrick Brown, when we see these pictures of him in the news conference, he was also in shock, not just the allegations, but the fact that his staff resigned en masse and left him alone. And so that's why you have these terrible pictures. It was such a bad news conference is because there was no staff there to tell him what to do or to protect him. So did he have really a choice? Because there's a little gap between the press conference 945 and then the 130 statement did, did he really have a choice but to step aside uh, he didn't but I don't think he realized it and even he got pushed over the ledge at one o'clock last night I think for him to actually resign and, and quit so mm -hmm. I think they, he, he thought he could survive this somehow the allegations aside when your staff resigned that's the real knife to the heart because those are the yeah. people who circle the wagons to protect you mm -hmm. and so as soon as the staff then the caucus goes everyone else falls in suit and you really have no choice but to resign let's talk a little bit about next step who would be in line to replace him as a, you know, again, five months before a provincial election? Well, with every political tragedy, there's a winner and, uh, and maybe multiple winners here. So I think you sort of saw three winners from yesterday. One, potentially who the candidates could be to replace. So in caucus, there's Lisa Raitt, uh, Vic Fideli, or would be two people who would be sort of high-profile caucus members with a lot of credibility. Then you have two star candidates, Carolyn Mulroney and Rod Phillips, who are, have been recruited by the party to run. Those are really established, well-known people within the party and have some credibility with the media. And then I actually think the best candidate would be our mayor, John Tory. He has the credibility. He's the complete opposite of Patrick Brown. He has, uh, uh, you know, knows how to get votes in Toronto, and he's been there before and I always say you to, in order to learn how to win an election you have to lose an election first he's done that before but whether he'd want the job I know That's is another question. another question altogether yeah um, and a lot of people are saying um, now you're sitting in the eyes of Premier Kathleen Wynne does she see this what what are her next steps because uh, it, how does she proceed in her campaigning now right so there's she really is the glass half full half empty situation for her on the one hand she's now bought herself some time and she can spend the next several months selling her campaign platform without having the attacks from the opposition that she would get otherwise so she can sell more of her positive message mm -hmm. at the same time they would have put together campaign attack ads they'd have a playbook to beat Patrick Brown and I was actually thinking that she had a good shot to beat Patrick Brown a lot of her positives play against his negatives and so now there's a real roll of the dice they don't know who they're going to roll it, run against mm -hmm. the other big winner last night was Andrea Horwath of the NDP and she's perhaps the biggest winner of all we haven't heard about the NDP they've been very low profile and all of a sudden they will be the de facto opposition and so Andrea is now going to be able to suck up all this political oxygen and try and sell the NDP platform where the PCs would have been able to do that otherwise a lot to digest here in the next few months should the question is should Patrick Brown have stepped aside completely even as an MPP and just said I, I, I cannot be involved at all in politics we are in a new time and era this uh, the speed with which these issues uh, move so really what he should have done last night I think was sit back and wait for the, the story to develop then talk to his caucus members and do something public today unfortunately he kind of uh, sped up his own downfall by having perhaps the worst political news conference in the history of politics here in Ontario Jim appreciate your insight thank you so much that's uh, Jim Warren political analyst and the story continuing to develop of course Patrick Brown stepping down as PC leader. We're going to take a break here. You're watching BT. It is 720.